Today, I would like to talk about how to become an auto sales master. In Atomi, once you become an auto sales master, your success is guaranteed. You can enjoy great success once you become an auto sales master. This is your ultimate goal. You have to give maximum effort to attain this title. Your ultimate goal in Atomi is therefore becoming an auto sales master. An auto sales master receives monthly allowance of about two to four thousand dollars. You promised thirty to fifty thousand dollars to us. Now you're saying two to four thousand dollars per month is our ultimate goal? My point is that you need to strive to reach auto sales master on your own. In other words, focus on becoming an auto sales master. Then a Tommy will take care of the rest. Other titles will follow once you become an auto sales master. For example, let me tell you how to become an Atomi Diamond Master. It's very difficult to become a Diamond Master alone by yourself. It's almost impossible. What do you have to do to become a Diamond Master then? All you need to do is becoming an Auto Sales Master. You know why? Because some of your downline members start to become Auto Sales Masters following your footsteps. Then, you will automatically be pushed up to become an Auto Diamond Master. Therefore, your main focus as an Atomi business person must be to become an Auto Sales Master. This should be your ultimate goal. You have to earn 2.5 million PV on your left and right wings. You have 15 days to achieve the PVs. We calculate your PVs on the 15th and last day of each month. Therefore, in one month, you should have a total of 5 million PV on each wing. To become an auto sales master, you must have auto buyers supporting you. You need auto consumers. This is very important. Only when they support you can you become an auto sales master. Let's see the requirements for ordinary consumers to be referred to as auto consumers. First, they should know how to become an Atomi member. Teach them how to join membership. But try not to do it all for them. Of course, if they do not know how to use a computer, then they would need someone to do it for them. But try to teach them how to join Atomi on their own. Second, they have to be knowledgeable of Atomi products. Third, they need to have experience using Atomi products so they can recommend our products to others. Saying, I am going to use Atomi products for the rest of my life. Then, this person is someone who buys our products on their own. Not someone who I supply or do the ordering for. Yes, some people may need your help. But a perfect auto consumer purchases our products on their own. You need consumers who purchase the products regardless of you knowing or not. Therefore, it is imperative for us that they know about our products. They would promote our products and make people use it. Once they become satisfied with our products, they start to buy it and say, I'm going to use Atomi products for the rest of my life. That's how they become auto consumers. Then what they need to do is, fifth, they need to introduce our products to their friends. 
they have to promote our products. Once he fulfills these five attributes, he becomes an auto-consumer. In other words, a person who buys our products on their own and introduces their product to others and helps them be more familiar with the product are called auto-consumers. Your challenge is nurturing these auto-consumers on both your left and right branches. Then, how many auto-consumers should you have on your branch? In general, people regularly buy 50,000 PV worth of products in 15 days and 100,000 PV in a month. For example, you use a set of cosmetics for two to three months. If you buy it at distributor's price, you earn 25,000 PV. You buy a box of Hemohim, you then earn 25,000 PV again. You buy other products such as toothbrush and toothpaste and earn additional PV. And you share our products with your family members. Your family members would use it too. Sometimes there is only one woman in a family. But if you have daughters or sisters or mother, you would share our beauty products with them. We found that if you share it with others, on average, you use one set of cosmetics in a month. So you buy a set of cosmetics and earn 25,000 PV. You have an additional 25,000 PV from Hemohim. So if you share our products with your family in general, you earn 50,000 PV. If they become satisfied with our products and start to build loyalty to it, they generally use about 100,000 PV per month. Then, how many auto consumers do you need to earn 5 million PV in a month? The answer is 50, right? What you need is not 50 passive members. If you want to become an auto sales master, you need 50 auto consumers who are strong supporters of our products. Each auto consumer earns 50,000 PV in 15 days. So, 50 auto consumers would earn 2.5 million PV. Then you become an auto sales master. But there's no guarantee that they use 5 million PV every month. Sometimes 6 million or 4 million. So you better have more than 50 consumers. What if you have 100 consumers on each leg instead of 50? You don't have to worry about keeping your title of sales master anymore. If you have 100 auto consumers on your left and right branches, you have a total of 200 auto consumers. Then you will become an auto sales master and receive two to four thousand dollars per month. Once you become sales master, you have achieved success in Atami. You receive two to four thousand dollars even if you go away on vacation for a month or you are hospitalized with an illness. If someone receives a regular allowance of two to four thousand dollars, would they quit? No way! Rather, they start to have more interest in this business. Will they stop or continue promoting our products? They will keep on promoting our products and I will continue making two to four thousand dollars per month. And the consumers under you? Will they receive nothing? That's not true. Those who jump into this business will start to receive commission that could be hundreds of dollars. An additional $500 is good extra money for a family. It makes a difference. If you spend an extra $500 on food, you can enjoy better meals, right? If you spend it on clothes, your family will be very stylish. You don't have to run after a bus wearing high heels on a rainy day. You can buy a used car and start driving your own car instead of using public transportation. 
Extra money will help improve your lifestyle. The size of your house can change with an extra $500. You can move to a bigger house. So your downline consumers who make $400, $500, $600, $700, one $1,000, they see you make two to $4,000. So they work hard to become auto sales masters too. They begin to have more interest in this business. It's not about making lots of money from the start. They don't have to stay on the 9 to 5 work schedule. Their schedule can be flexible and they don't have to make huge investments. They can do business without having to do risk management. Once they start making a little extra money, they become more enthusiastic about doing the business. That's why once you become an auto sales master, promotion follows automatically. Don't make a distant goal of making thirty to fifty thousand dollars too soon. You will get disappointed. You start to compare yourself with others thinking two to four thousand dollars is not enough. I only have hundred consumers on each branch while others have thousands. How can I compete with them? A thousand members seems like a steep hill, but how about hundred or two hundred members? I can read from your expressions that you worry a lot of even having a hundred or two hundred members. But it's quite simple once you get the trick. It's not that difficult. You don't have to sign up hundred or two hundred members on your own. Even I would have trouble signing up 100 or 200 members on my own. When I first founded Atami, I started recruiting people. Recruiting was my first step. I tried to explain Atami's philosophy and vision and persuade them to join me in Atami. How many people do you think accepted my offer? 17? No, it was less than that. I didn't even gather 17 members on my own. For example, I recruited Royal Master Park jong Su. She ran the failed duck restaurant. She recruited her restaurant supplier, Choi gyu jong who is now a Royal Master. So who recruited Royal Master Choi gyu jong to a Tommy? It wasn't me. Royal Master Park jong Su recruited Royal Master Choi gyu jong We have many Royal Masters here today sitting over there, but I only recruited a few of them. Royal Master Lim sung tae I recruited Royal Master Lim. He then recruited Royal Master Park yong wok to a Tommy. So I didn't recruit Royal Master Park myself. Do you know who Royal Master Park jong Su recruited? She recruited her sponsor, Royal Master Kim sung il It's strange, right? She recruited her sponsor. I will explain. Before they joined the Tommy, Royal Master Kim sung il persuaded Royal Master Park jong Su to invest in a fund. He guaranteed making huge profits from it, but unfortunately the company went bankrupt. So Royal Master Kim owes Royal Master Park money, right? But he had nothing. So what could he do? Royal Master Park jong Su let him be her sponsor so he could make money and pay her back. So Royal Master Kim sung il went above Royal Master Park jong Su. So who recruited Royal Master Kim sung il Did I do that? No. Royal Master Kim sung il now receives a monthly commission of $50,000. Royal Master Lee dog came a lot later. We also have Royal Master Im byung gu today. He was the 996th or 997th member of Atami. Anyways, he was close to 1,000. Atami was established in September and he joined Atami in April of next year. He joined Atami after seven months of its establishment.
So how many members were we able to have in seven months? It was only about a thousand. Do I look like a competent businessman or not? I'm actually really good at business. After I quit my salaryman job, I didn't set up my own enterprise at first. I actually started business in a network marketing company. And in just two years, I'd reached the highest position in that company. I even had a presentation ceremony at Lotte Hotel. I wore a white tuxedo, and my wife wore a red dress. Let's see it on the screen. This is when I was doing network marketing. Do I look better now? I don't see much difference at all. Anyways, I reached the highest position in two years. Once I reached the top, I began to see some entrenched problems of the network marketing business in Korea. They were always criticizing each other. U.S. companies criticized Korean companies saying that we were nothing but pyramid sellers. I was then working at a Korean company, and Korean companies cursed people working at U.S. companies saying that they were all traitors. They never stopped criticizing each other. It was such a mess. What do you think other people would see? To them, we were all such losers. Do Samsung's employees criticize LG's employees? No, they don't. They respect each other and their companies. When I was working in the automobile industry, I used to see people encouraging each other. In the network marketing business, I found people pointing fingers at each other. So I suggested holding a meeting with representatives from each company. I thought we should get to know each other, and we may be able to learn something from each other. Who else can we learn from? So I thought we should share our knowledge and experiences of success with each other. So I suggested starting that kind of committee to protect the rights and interests of workers, make a scholarship support system, and a committee for public relations too. The public often pokes fun at people involved in network marketing. They ridicule the network marketing business a lot. The network marketing business is not respected. We run a perfectly legal business method, but the public never respects us because we failed in protecting our rights and interests. I asserted strongly that we had to work together to protect people in this business. I suggested a committee of people at the highest positions at each company or people who receive more than $20,000 per month. This is how the Korean Network Marketing Leaders Club was established. Of course, there were some members who started this business earlier than I did. Some of them were receiving more than hundreds of thousands of dollars in commission. But I was very involved in the establishment of the committee, so members asked me to be the first president. Twenty-three of us worked together to establish the Korean Network Marketing Leaders Club. We tried to establish a framework of the network marketing business. Our aim was to set an institutional framework for this type of business. So I served as the first president of the club. I worked as the vice president the following year and president again the next year. But after the fund affair, many companies struggled to prevent bankruptcy. They had to take care of their companies and had no time to focus on the club, so it broke apart. I cannot start another committee anymore since I am now an executive, but I think it is necessary for our leaders like you to start a similar organization with your colleagues. So whenever the media criticizes the network marketing business, you can correct them and convey the merits of this business. It's necessary for you to protect your colleagues and this business.
Anyways, I told you earlier that you should try to have 100 auto consumers on each branch, right? But if I was asked to recruit 100 members on my left and right branches on my own, I can't do it. I started a Tommy by recruiting a few members at first. Then they started to recruit other members. I only recruited a few of them, such as Royal Master Yoon Young Sung, Royal Master Im Sung Tech, and Royal Master Park Jong Soo. I did not recruit the other members myself. Rest of them joined the Tommy several months or years after its foundation. I recruited Star Master Kim Sun Sik too. So, I recruited only about four or five members. Well, how many people do you think I contacted to recruit four or five members? I have about 2,000 contacts saved on my phone. Before I started a Tommy, I had around 1,000 contacts on my phone. Of course, I had my family members. I also had contacts of hundreds of businessmen. I also had hundreds of friends on my contacts. Do you think I called everyone to let them know I'm starting this business? Yes, I called everyone on my list. But I still couldn't find anyone to ask to be the chief businessman. If I asked you to be the chief businessman now, many of you would be willing to accept it, right? But back then, all we had was one used carnival. No one was interested in being the chief businessman. First, I thought Royal Master Im Sung Tech was the right choice. But he failed miserably in a fun company before he came. And I started to worry that people might perceive Atami as a fun company if he became chief businessman. Royal Master Im had the same idea and denied my offer. We needed just one chief businessman, but I couldn't find the right person. At the time, Royal Master Yoon Young Sung was with the company, but didn't want to be anything more than a management consultant. He tried to raise capitals for Atami, but financing did not go well. So he was looking for ways to finance a Tommy. At the time, he was Professor Yoon. One day, I said, Professor Yoon, I think we need you as chief businessman. Well, he looked very perplexed at my offer. He had never imagined it before, and he seemed a little displeased at the same time. He might have thought, how dare you suggest that to me? since he was a well-known real estate professor and used to appear on real estate broadcasts. He also started his own construction company. He built the tallest studio apartment in Suwon and several apartments in Yongsan. He was the president of a construction company. But then the recession hit the real estate market. So he was going through a little difficulty, but he was still the president of his company and a professor. He might have thought that he was overqualified to be a chief businessman of a network marketing company. He looked quite unsatisfied with my offer, but I want to express my gratitude to him again for accepting my offer, even though he wasn't happy about it. Yeah. That's how he, uh, with a little reluctance, became our chief businessman. If he accepted my offer out of greed or sense of status, I would not feel as grateful as I feel today. I know he was reluctant to it, but he accepted my offer only because he wanted to help me. That's why I genuinely appreciate his support a lot more. I can see someone else who I tried to recruit as chief businessman here today. I think his membership ID is somewhere close to 100,000. Once he was promoted to Sharon Rose Master through betting, but I think now he is barely maintaining Sales Master. If he accepted my offer back then, he would be a Royal Master now. 
he would be receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars in commission. Oh, unfortunately, he joined the Tommy after witnessing its great success. He missed the chance. He's sitting somewhere in the audience. I'm not going to tell you who it is. He's smiling. He's wearing a hat. Anyways, he missed the chance. I asked him repetitively, but he declined my offer. I desperately needed someone to take the ID number one, so I could recruit other members to follow. So I went through a difficult time trying to recruit a chief businessman. Everything has changed now. If I say one word, it seems like hundreds of people will line up. And some people beg, can I please touch your hand just once? But there was a time that I was denied over and over again. But the person who denied me back then is now doing the Atami business. I think he will move up the ladder in an orderly manner if he works hard. He has a very strong base, so I think he will do well. But if he had accepted my offer before, he would be enjoying greater success now. My point is that I also struggled a lot to recruit members when I first started this company. Right now, you may think that one word from the president will have hundreds lining up, and you may think only if I had met him earlier, I would have accepted his offer and I would be a royal master now. You may think that way right now, but back then I tried and tried to recruit people, but many people declined time after time. I called hundreds of people and invited them to come to a Tommy. I'm setting up this business, so please come and give our products a try. I made numerous phone calls over and over again, but very few were interested. But those five or six members, in reality, made 500,000 members. When I tell you to recruit 200 members, it doesn't mean to recruit all 200 members yourselves. First, start with recruiting a few members that you personally know. And you should not assume that everyone is going to willingly work with a Tommy. Let's say someone has just started up a grocery store with a $200,000 investment. Do you think he would accept your offer to do a Tommy business? No, he would not. He would never join a Tommy unless he goes bankrupt or wants to start a new business. People generally make the mistake of thinking, I absolutely must tell so-and-so about this. They contemplate and worry all night long and decide to introduce a Tommy to their friend. If their offer is declined, they start to think, I knew it wouldn't work. They were declining just because they are not in the right situation at the moment. They then make a hasty judgment that this business doesn't work. This is not a business that anyone can do. You have to know that everyone has a rightful place. So, not everyone is destined to do this business. Your mission is to find those who are destined to do this business. If you try to persuade every single one, you would get exhausted quickly. I suggest you briefly introduce a Tommy around you. Don't worry, just let them know a little bit. Then there are going to be some people who are actually looking for something like this. The best way to educate them about us is to bring them out to one of our one-day seminars or bring them to one of our success academies. Bring them and say, just listen to it once. You don't have to explain everything in detail. Just tell them, there's a great lecture, but I cannot believe what I heard. Could you please come with me? Look into it and see whether they are credible or not. If it's not, please tell me. Let us see whether they are trustworthy or not. Some people are intrigued by Atami after attending our seminar saying, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So while you become quite interested, the person you brought might become absolutely obsessed with Atami. People that you would have never imagined to be strong businessmen are actually around you. But they don't know that they have a knack for the business. Even some people around me tell me that they didn't know that they would do so well. 
There are many people in the world who haven't had the chance to live up to their potential. So these people, yeah. after meeting a Tommy, they almost reach the point of obsession. They say they cannot even sleep at night. A case in point is Royal Master Kim Sung Il. When he first came to a Tommy, he couldn't sleep. I also once heard a story of his center. An employee was determined to be the first one to punch in one day, so he went really early in the morning. But there were already members who came before him. So he went an hour earlier the next day, and he was too late again. He thought they were amazing coming so early in the morning. So he went to the office at dawn the next day. He couldn't believe it, but he found them again. He asked, what time do you come to the office? And they said, we stay here all night. They worked night and day without sleep. Night and day. You need passion and determination like them. You have to really devote yourself to this business. This is the faster way to success. On rare occasion, there is the passive member that says, Oh, I'm not so sure, but I'll just give it a try. They say, maybe I'll just tell this person about it. Maybe I'll just tell that person about it. Sometimes they get really lucky and somehow recruit incredibly gifted salesmen. Many people think that they have to be good at something to become successful. Those people often fall into self-criticism and find their weaknesses. They keep on evaluating and criticizing themselves. But your own abilities make up less than 1% in achieving success. Success does not depend on your own personal connections. How many do you think I knew among the thousands of our members? We have many guests here today, but how many of you do you think I knew before I started this company? Very few. I have over a thousand guests here today, but I knew very few of you. I got to know you through connection after connection. Therefore, what you need is not knowing a lot of people or having great abilities. Even if you don't have tremendous abilities, you can succeed. If you think you are competent enough, do not hesitate to start this business. Don't be employed by others and waste your time. Achieve greater success here at Atami. Then you can become greatly successful. But if you think you are not competent enough, you also have to start this business right now too. You cannot make money elsewhere if you don't have abilities. Try it, you won't be able to make a living. If you are lacking in abilities, start the Atami business. Here's a blockhead. Funny thing I found is that a blockhead usually recruits other blockheads around them. They then recruit more blockheads over and over again. But at a certain point, they get lucky and find a prodigy. The prodigy thinks, wow, this is amazing. This prodigy is very good at business and usually has many connections. If you are lucky enough, the moment could arrive soon. If not, you have to wait a bit longer until members on your downline recruit a great businessman. My point is that all of you can be successful. How? Just work hard until you find that prodigy. Keep going. In India, when people hold rituals for rain, rain always comes. That's because they never stop praying for rain until rain actually comes. Thus, you should not make a prejudgment whether someone will or will not do this business. It's a legal term, prejudicial conjecture. They found that when a thief who has a thief-like appearance goes to trial, usually ends up with heavier sentences. They also found through a study that beautiful criminals 
receive relatively lighter sentences than those who are not beautiful in appearance. They are more inclined to be found not guilty. Since the majority of judges are men, they doubt, thinking, how could such a beautiful woman commit such a heinous crime? So they make the prejudgment without logical reasoning and come to the conclusion that she is not guilty. So you should not make prejudgments about whether someone is going to do the Atami business or not. It's up to them. It's their decision. I call it the law of my will. Please repeat after me, the law of my will. Who decides whether they start or not? It's their own decision. They follow their will. Even if you are absolutely sure that your friend would accept your offer, he may turn out saying, what on earth got you into network marketing? On the other hand, another friend that you thought would never do this business might say, thank you. This is exactly what I have been looking for. So who decides whether to start or not? They decide on their own. But whose decision is it to introduce a Tommy? Mine. Once you fully understand the law of my will, you become a competent businessman. You can work without stress or difficulty. The biggest concern for many salesmen is, what am I going to say? What are they going to think? They worry all night. They wake up in the morning and pout. Sales is too hard. They haven't done anything yet. They just worry what others would think once they hear about a Tommy. They waste their time worrying instead of acting. That does nothing to help your business. Don't waste your time. Don't hesitate. Just explain to them what this business is all about. They are the ones who have to contemplate, not you. It's not worth worrying about how they would respond before giving them anything to respond to. Just throw it out. Do not hesitate. Don't waste time worrying. The Bible says, preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Just throw it out. Who should contemplate? It's them, not you. Let them make their own decisions whether to start or not. If you worry night and day about their reaction, you would be wasting time and energy. So what would be the most effective way? Don't waste your time worrying whether they are going to come to the seminar with you. Just ask them. If they say no, well, it's okay. There are so many people around you. What is more important is introducing a Tommy to as many people as possible. Go to your friends, look for strangers, anybody. But who would be the best Atami salesman? It's hard to find the answer to that. Think about it. Who's the best evangelist? Some say Jesus is the founder of the network marketing business. He created 12 branches. He nurtured his 12 disciples earnestly to preach the gospel. How successful he was. It even spread here in Korea. Network marketing is similar to the spreading of the gospel. It's because when the network marketing business first started in the US, they were all Christian. They incorporated a similar mechanism to the spreading of the gospel to this business. That's why there are similarities. My point is that to be a good evangelist, you don't have to know the Bible inside out or be gifted at persuading others. These aren't requirements. For example, there was an old lady who kept on asking a young man to go to church. She was so persistent and kept on asking for him to come to church. She never stopped. He said, okay, okay, I'll go. So she asked him to come to her church. She even brought fruits and rice cakes to him. The young man finally gave in and decided to go to her church. He didn't want to go alone, so he brought a friend. Man, 
This old lady is bugging me about going to church. I don't want to go alone. Would you like to join me? So he followed his friend without any serious thought. Then, this friend invited one of his friends to join them. One day, something clicked inside the friend's friend. He decided to go to theology school. Later on, he built his own church, like one of our centers. His church spiritually nurtured young children, and one of them went abroad to study. The student went abroad and preached the gospel. This became global marketing. So, the old lady wasn't the best preacher. The young man stopped going to church after a while. And the friend stopped going too. So the friend's friend was left by himself. All people before him quit, so the sponsor line died. But he stayed and created an enormous line. Do you think this old lady would receive commission or not? She would get commission even though she was not a very good salesperson. So when you spread the gospel, the Bible says, Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season. It says, Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Do not wait for perfect timing. Don't try to figure out what the person is thinking. Just throw it out to them without second thought. If they look interested, keep going. If not, look elsewhere. Why? There are so many people out there. If you keep going like this, you will get more comfortable. You ask them, let's go to Mount Songnisan. Some would never follow you, but there are others who are waiting for an opportunity to go somewhere. People who want to get away for a while. So when you ask this person to go to Mount Songnisan, they never hesitate even though they have no interest in Atami at all. They just want to go for a vacation. I know some of our guests here today came with that mindset, but some of them get very interested in our business after listening to the seminars. They came thinking of it as a vacation, but it becomes a life-changing experience. My point is that you don't have to worry whether they listen or not. Who makes the decision? They make their own decision. Whose decision is it to talk about it? It's mine. So I should just throw it out. It has become a habit for me. Even when I'm eating in a restaurant, I just start talking about Atomi. Hi, I sell cosmetics. Which brand do you use? This is Atomi, developed by Korean Atomic Energy Research Institute. The news reported it being 100 times better. And people who use it go crazy. It's also really cheap. It costs less than half of the other high-end products. After using our products, they never use other products anymore. They all say that Atomi's products are the best. How long did that take? 17 seconds. There are some who respond, Oh, I heard of that too. They ask how they could buy it. This is how network marketing works. Some people have no response, even if you are saying the same thing. Then you just leave them. But go back to that person again later. I used to go to one particular restaurant near my office very often. I tried to sell our products to the owner more than 20 times, but he refused. In the end, I asked the owner, Are you really not going to use our products? I will never come to this restaurant anymore or I'll pay the bill with products instead of money. Are you going to use it or not? So he finally said yes. I sold it that way too. Persistence is very important. Try over and over again. Think about it. If someone comes up to you to tell you about the same product once, you would rarely say, okay, I'll buy it. But even if you tell them you won't buy it, you go home and think about it, right? But just when you almost forget about it, he brings it up again. So you go look it up on the internet. And someone tells you they heard about Atomi too. If I had not heard about Atomi, I wouldn't understand or care even if I heard the word Atomi. 
But since I heard about it before, when someone else says Atami products are great, then you say, oh, I heard that too. And this becomes engraved in your head. Also, some people do not listen when I tell them. But then they may hear good things about us from others. They may come back to you and say, let me try those products that you talked about. So whether the timing is good or bad, keep talking about it. Have a big mouth. Have a big mouth. There are some people who think way too much before spinking. It's just their character. You can't change overnight. Don't try to change. I have some advice for you. If you are a quiet person, look for a big mouth and recruit him. If you think you are old and cannot walk long distances, go recruit a healthy young person and get him to run around for you. If you think our seminars are hard to follow, you cannot understand anything, look for a bright person and sponsor him. Atomi's marketing plan counts not only your immediate downline sales, but also sales of members 10, 100, 1000 levels below you. So you get commission based on sales from everyone. Atomi gives you the opportunity for success even if you are an incompetent businessman. It's made so that even a fool can succeed. Why? Usually dumb people are surrounded by dumb people. Even if there's a fool after fool, if you somehow find a genius among them, you reap the benefits no matter how far down he is from you. This does not only apply to members in Korea alone. Whether your members are from the US, Japan, Korea, or Canada, they are all one global network. Wherever the sales come from, you will get commission based on sales from all downline members. Atomi is the first network marketing company in the world that embraced one global network. So how is it in other countries? In other countries, for example, there are US companies, Korean companies, Japanese companies, Chinese companies. Here we have company A. They have their own local branches in each country. And this is how it works. Let me explain it to you. So I'm in Korea. But if I want to go to the US and start business there, then I have to create a new line in the US and basically start over. If I wanted to start this business in China, I have to register again in China and start a new line. They do take each line and add them together, but they're still separate lines. How does Atomi work? You start one line from Korea. You recruit someone from USA, one from China, another from Japan, then another from Japan, then another from Canada, and one from Mexico. They all become one line. In other companies, if you are registered in Korea, if you have sales in the US, it doesn't count. You have to register at the branch and accumulate sales there. However, in Atomi, you only have to register one time. For example, Ms. Huang. She registered in the US. But right now, she's doing her business in Korea. Go back to USA and leave Korea to Korean members. She keeps on recruiting more Korean members. She has partners in the US, right? She's adding Korean members to her US members on a single line right now. You are losing your members to an American. The funny thing is that her sponsor is Korean. So the money circulates around Korea and the US and at last it comes to me. Her members in Korea try to recruit their family, relatives and friends in the US. So it spreads across the US again. This is how Atami is expanding its business around the world. This is our business mechanism. If you're in the US, you can buy from the US branch. If you're in Korea, you can buy from the Korean branch. It doesn't matter if your partner purchases from Korea or Japan or USA. All of the sales are totaled up and becomes your commission. It is a very easy system for you to follow, but complicated for the company. 
This is the first global network marketing system, and we created it. When we say our goal is to be the number one in the world, the best company in Korea, or the exemplary figure in the world, we are not just creating some kind of hype. We have already satisfied the requirements to be number one in the world. We are well prepared. All you have to do is have the goal to become an auto sales master and get there on your own. In order to become an auto sales master, you need 100 consumers on your right and 100 consumers on your left. Auto consumers. But you cannot recruit 200 members on your own. You recruit one or two, then three or four. But they start recruiting three or four members and this becomes hundreds. Then out of these people, there will be auto consumers. If these auto consumers decide they want to become auto sales masters, you would automatically become a diamond master. And if they become diamond masters, you become a Sharon Rose master. Today, it seems like earning $30,000 or $50,000 per month is like a dream or distant goal. But remember this, once you become an auto sales master, you will automatically move up the ladder. And one day you will reach the position that you have been dreaming of. This system gives you a great opportunity for success and balanced life. Thank you for listening.